Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do another quick um, craft with me using the kind of collaging and things that we have been doing. So in the last one, we produced this envelope. I love, 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 love this envelope. It's so cute. Um, just, yeah, really, really, really love it. Now, my problem here is because we have so far created, obviously, you know, these collage pages and obviously the envelope. Now, to me, I wouldn't kind of use these two together because they're not kind of matchy-matchy. Um, but I am trying to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone and get over, you know, get over that and past that. So, <laughs> that said, obviously yesterday's piece was very matchy-matchy still. So, you know, that's those two. But I'm going to try and push myself away from that um, today. So who knows whether this will work and then who knows whether they would then, those pieces would make it into the same journal. I'm not sure. Um, so what I've got here, I've brought along again some scraps. These are from my Prima Ballerina kit um, that I just thought we could kind of, you know, incorporate some of these. I've obviously still got my little pieces that I've got left from the green. I've got some more of the um, what's the word for this? Uh, manu uh, is it manuscript paper? My mind's gone completely blank, blank now. Manuscript paper, I think, is uh, the correct term for that. I've obviously got some book page, and obviously I've got some sheet music. I say that as I now have to quickly tear some off from beside me because now I can't actually see it anywhere. Right, I have now got some sheet music. So I'm going to try and incorporate probably some blues. Um, it's probably a step too far at this stage to try and incorporate all these colours. But who knows? It, it may go there. Um, and obviously I've still got those brilliant bunch of fabrics that I bought along last time. Um, so, you know, once we've kind of done this, we can obviously play around with some of these fabrics on these kinds of pieces is the plan who knows whether it will kind of go that way so <laughs> I'm pop these out of the way slightly what I've got here I've just got one of those kind of long I don't know whether this is DL size or whether it even seems longer than that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it shut oops just going to glue it shut here. And there's some tissue to kind of dab off the excess glue. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is cut it to make two pockets. So we've got the envelope closed now and I'm going to cut it. Now, we could cut it right in half and then we've got two identical or, you know, nearly identical size pockets. Or we could have one kind of longish pocket and one small pocket. So I might do that because obviously it's just then a bit more interesting to kind of have different size pieces. So if we work on the larger one first, and I will keep this one obviously for you know, working on afterwards. So, just got this little piece here and I'm just going to start collaging around. I'm really, really going to try not to overthink this at all today. Um, now, <laughs> going to try and incorporate the blue, obviously. So, I'm just going to tear this in half. You know, I mean, I said this was scraps. What I meant was it's a piece that I had printed that I haven't used yet. So, you know, it's not really scraps per se, but it was just a piece that I haven't actually got around to using. Now, am I brave enough to kind of incorporate this flower piece? The thing is, that would actually go with, obviously, the colours here. So it kind of incorporates the colours I am already using and is a way of bringing in the blue. So what I might do is tear off the pink 
because that for me was where it kind of wasn't really working and have it kind of like this oh my gosh isn't that gorgeous just that <laughs> that lovely section oh I just love it right now I've got my painted pieces or they're not really painted the background's painted obviously but the rest is just really stamped so do I want to have a butterfly I'm kind of thinking keep the very small pieces for the very small pocket and I've still got this um, flourish here which I haven't used anywhere and I don't know whether I would end up tearing that and kind of just using it in a couple of sections probably so don't know whether it will be on this um, you know on this piece that we're collaging or not but let's have a look <clears throat> Tear this one down a bit more. Now, where's that sheet music that I had? Right, so we've got some manuscript here. Let's just tear off a little piece of that. Hope everyone's having a good day. What projects is everyone working on? Are you, uh, are you all doing collage pieces, or <laughs> has my protracted process put you all off? <laughs> Just get some sheet music. All these bits are a little bit too big at the minute, so I think what we'll do, let's make them all a little bit smaller. Right, what I might do is, uh, let me sit down first because that's always a bit more helpful when you're actually comfortable crafting rather than kind of stood up, which is obviously not especially comfortable. Just going to glue this piece on. And again, I'm just trying to kind of go over the edge slightly. So as I've got a bit of a raggedy kind of tatty edge to there, I didn't want it like really straight. Um, you know, so trying to keep it a little bit kind of raggedy there. Just see whether we prefer it kind of like this. Maybe that butterfly is too um, big for this piece actually really occurred to me but I think maybe hmm I just as I thought I was improving at doing these you see I've now got worse again I think what's happening I've got like three pieces here and I would end up with three pieces there which then that's just really odd isn't it so let's just tear a bit more of the blue if we can kind of balance that out a little bit. Because you don't want it to kind of, um, well, it wouldn't be looking symmetrical, but you know, that just, it just looped off, didn't it? So, I wonder if I need a smaller piece of the blue. Let's tear that down. Like that. So, 
prefer to have the manuscript here and the sheet music piece here. This piece here and the butterfly. I would have really put the butterfly down the hair. A bit more blue maybe here. No, it's still it's still taking on that strange look. What I need to do is have something obviously in the middle to kind of balance that out. So let me just get a little piece of the script that I stamped on that green background. Perhaps I need to tear this one. Let's make that a bit smaller. That's better, isn't it? Oh, that's better. Straight away, that looks better, doesn't it? So let's just pop a couple of these pieces down. So. Hold this kind of in place a little bit for a moment. And if I have the manuscript kind of up here, I just want to make sure that I'm kind of going where I need to go with my pieces. And if we have the butterfly there, right, so. Let me just try and work out which way round I need to glue the pieces. So I think this one needs to go on first. Put that one down here. Then I'm going to pop the Manuscript, yeah, and pop the manuscript down. Check that I am actually kind of covering the entire envelope because um, obviously it's kind of blending into the back, you know, the piece of white paper that I'm using to glue against. So uh, I couldn't quite see where that actually ended. One. I've got this one here, that one there, Oops. this one here. Has that got a straight edge? Oh, that's got a straight edge. Look, maybe that's why I was finding that strange. Let's pop that there like that. Pop that over there. do is tear this down a bit because I don't want that straight edge like that because I did like it that way round and I have this piece here so let's pop the music sheet music on I'm really, really trying to not overthink this and trying to kind of speed things up because um, I can't imagine how boring it must be for you guys watching me deliberate over just where to put the most tiny bit of paper. But, but it is tricky because you don't want to kind of put it <laughs> somewhere that then just looks really awful. <clears throat> Kids just kind of have half a butterfly. It would look quite cool. Let me just have a look, see how that would look. Oh, I quite like that. What does everyone else think? I like that. And then, um, 
see if we can have a bit more book page on there. Yep, I quite like that. So, and then obviously we'll have that wing that we can use somewhere else. So again, I'm just going to kind of tear that down, but trying to keep as much of that wing in place for another piece. So, I might have to, um, might have to tear another piece of book page because I think I've now made that a bit small. Unless we have a bit of blue here. Tear that blue down. Oops. Let's see how this kind of fits together like that. Oh, I wanted that piece of red showing. <coughs> stand up to see how that looks through the camera. I could do with something blue up here really. Well it doesn't matter because obviously we can always put some um, fabric or something up there can't we? So and pop this piece down here. I don't really want to cover up as much of that sheet music as I was doing. So pop that there. And have this piece here, this piece here. Look like a lovely day outside and now, now the clouds have gone over and it's looking like grey skies. piece here like that and just dab the glue away <clears throat> constantly sticking it onto the background sheet And then we're going to have the butterfly kind of there. Unless we have this little piece kind of here. Oh, or maybe there. Maybe there. That piece there. Yep, that looks better. So, right. No more overthinking. I'm going to just pop bits down. Get moving. <laughs> boring everybody quite so much just going to kind of tear that round because it's kind of a bit of a weird shape there like that Oops. okay So that looks really nice and I just love the way we're going to have that piece of red up the top. Now do I want it big or do I want just a small piece there? So that's it if it was small. Let me just check them in frame. That's it if it was small. And that's the, the kind of full, oops, full strip. Small. Yeah, maybe small. Maybe not that small, but maybe kind of going more a bit pointy. Like that. Yep, like that. Let's just glue that on and stop. Stop with that overthinking malarkey that's going on there. 
There we go. Right. Ah, how cute does that look? Right, so I'm just going to kind of tear around here. Because again, I didn't really kind of want to have neat edges on here. But possibly they need to be kind of slightly, slightly closer than they are currently. Right, well I quite like it like that. Oh my gosh, right. I am definitely getting a little bit quicker at these, so that's good news. Just check I haven't glued it closed completely. Have a little bit, but we can still get in, so that's good. Okay, really like how that looks. I'll turn that over so I haven't got the gluey side on. Now, <coughs> I've got all those fabrics that we kind of talked about last time. So I'll just drag those back in. Now, obviously, I've got this blue with the kind of flowers, which, you know, obviously just goes really nicely on here now because we've got the... Um, the blue with the the flowers so do we want something like that oops just move this out of the way although that maybe looks quite nice as well that's the problem and I think I said this in the last video but every single piece that I put down I literally love so um it's a bit of a problem kind of obviously then making a decision because every piece that I'm putting down I think oh that looks good I mean that I just think looks really really cute just like that and then I've got some stamped images here or I've got like a little denim heart that looks kind of cute I've got some little stamped words oops we could kind of have that there oh I quite like that and we could kind of have that wrapped around so that it's like a little tab. Or we could just have it cut. What does everyone think? So, uh, I'm going to glue this on. So let's, let's commit. Like that. And then I'm going to glue glue this one on because I really like how that looks just the word love there now so we could either just kind of cut this off like that and have it just hanging which is cute or we could have it as a little kind of tab which I think is even sweeter so I'm going to kind of cut that across there you know, not that it's going to be a tab to kind of go anywhere because um, this would probably be just down on a page as a pocket. But having said that, I guess what you could do is um, have it stuck down either right near the edge of the page. So then it would be a little tab for the page itself. That's maybe a little bit too overhanging. So let me just move this in slightly more don't know whether that's still overhanging a bit much let me let me move it in slightly more right, that's better I think otherwise it was like a massive tab on quite a small piece which looked really strange right that looks so cute doesn't it um, so yeah what you could do is obviously have that on the edge of a page where then this would be your page turner or you could obviously have this stuck in like a top loading pocket obviously because it's an envelope and you could stick it down kind of on you know three sides and have it then as a kind of side loading pocket as well and then that would be kind of a bit of a tab to lift the pocket up I think there's kind of options there that you could use with this so really love how that looks. It's really cute. And if I just bring in my one from yesterday, that's how they kind of look together. So, you know, although for me, that's obviously not matchy-matchy, 
they're still complementing each other hopefully quite nicely so you know they would hopefully still you know you could get away with having those in the same journal so we've done that one now I'm up to 25 minutes I wonder whether I've got time to quickly do the other little piece of envelope that we snipped off I mean it's only teeny so it really technically it shouldn't really take very long to decorate this now we could have this one as a side pocket down there so let's do that quickly so again I mean I'm very much learning with the um, collage thing so you know bear with me but I'm thinking that obviously because this is a very small pocket we're going to presumably need very small pieces so now I'm just having a look to see whether I've got any more of the blue Oops. just got a small bit here so I'm just going to kind of tear that down <coughs> Hopefully that should be enough because obviously this is a very small um, pocket. Then I'm going to grab in, we've got a couple of kind of smallish items here. So we've got this pocket watch, which is cute, isn't it? Do a bit of script because that's really handy. It's like a filler. And we'll get some book page. happened with that last one why it went you know three one side three the other but I'm going to try and kind of avoid doing that this time and um, you know as I say I'm not quite sure quite why that happened or how that happened um, but I'm really going to try and avoid that this time I don't know whether I will avoid it because obviously I don't really quite know why that seemed to be the case but it definitely, you know, that definitely did happen with that one. <clears throat> and this is so strange because um, you would think that the smaller piece, you know, the piece, the um, easier it is, but actually not sure that that's necessarily the case. I'm going to take a bit more of a kind of fussy section of the sheet music because, um, you know, the piece that I just happen to have there is very plain. And it's obviously a bit more fun to have something a bit more going on, isn't it? Because otherwise it looks pretty plain on the... Um, on the page. Maybe I would prefer the blue at the top. No? Um, right, I'm going to going to glue this down and then I've made a commitment. We've just got one piece then stuck on. I think kind of maybe for me that's kind of a bit of a a key thing is kind of get one or two pieces stuck down so as you've got somewhere to go because um, I think otherwise it's kind of a case of a bit too much choice and I don't then quite you know I can't kind of seem to see the wood for the trees so if we pop that piece here and what if we had the blue running out from behind that. Now I'm wishing really that we had some more of the blue with the little bit of red on there. So I'm just going to quickly 
have a rummage through my scrap papers that are just behind my desk you know from where I've finished various projects because um, I may well have some other bits that do have that kind of colour so just bear with me for a couple of minutes so these are all kind of bits that are left over from the project that I was doing with my prima ballerina so um have a bit of a rummage through to see whether I've got any any bits with the kind of right colouring and unfortunately I can't see any so far which is a bit of a shame hmm that's a shame isn't it right I mean, I have got a bit more blue here. Well, unless we pull in one of the roses. If we just took this small section here, I wonder whether we can avoid enough of the pink. To kind of use that. That might be good enough, to be honest. Because I don't think it needs a huge amount. It just needs teeny weeny bit just somewhere so you've got a kind of hint of um, of red in there actually I'm just going to turn that slightly smaller we just have that there despite saying oh I'm not going to overthink it and I'm going to try and be quick it's <laughs> really tricky because um, you know you don't want it to look really off balance so um, you know as quick as you try and be ah there we go right let me get gluing before I kind of lose the plot here so I'm going to glue some of the green over in that corner so that's kind of finishing off that top bit I'm going to pop this piece of book page down just here this piece down here like that because then I can play around with the other pieces but it was kind of the overall um, effect that suddenly I was you know it, I could see it coming together kind of thing before my eyes so um, I didn't want to kind of suddenly lose that Right. Let's have a put that that way up. Just have a look. So have that like that. Oops. Right. Let me get rid of this piece here. Okay. one down here again just dab off the glue like that just going to pop this piece down here
sheet music. I quite like it like that. <clears throat> and then we have the blue here. Oops. And then we have just that bit of script there. So we've just got that tiny gap there. So let's just have a look again back through my pieces of scrap. Um, Actually, what we haven't used at all so far is, oh, I've actually got this little section here still left of this, which I'd obviously completely forgotten about. So just take that. There. Got buried and obviously forgot all about it. Actually, I wouldn't have minded that there. Right, I quite like that. So let's glue down the piece of sheet music. Yeah. Like that. Make sure that we're kind of covering up all the gaps that need to be covered. <clears throat> Just check that we wouldn't prefer it this way around. Rather than that way around. Oops. Yeah, it's probably better that way around. So just going to glue this blue piece on. Actually. Or I do. I wonder whether it might have been better like that. And the piece of blue here. No, 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 no. Right. Isn't it funny how often, you know, the way you put it down first, you know, it often is still the way, isn't it? So um, it's a bit like when you go shopping and you know, you can't find something to wear if you're looking for an outfit for something. And then so often it's the first thing that you, you saw, you know, in the very first shop that you went in, kind of still, it's that one. There we go, pop one on. Like that. And then we've just got this one. Pop that on in there. Like that. And then the clock. Just in there. Okay. We are done so i love how that looks oh these collages they are super fun i have to say right so oops stuck on the page again let me turn it back over really cute so and obviously this one is a side loading pocket and again if i just move my little bits and bobs out of the way we can obviously pop something on here. You know, again, something fabricy. Got another one of those little pocket watches or clocks, or you know, could have that because it kind of picks up the clock, which is kind of fun. Um, we've obviously got some hearts we could have, or we could have one of those little birds that we talked about we could even have that bird actually on here does he show up really mm, he looks like he does through the um camera 
he doesn't necessarily look like he does funnily enough you know when you're stood here or when you're you know when you're closer to it so just having a play and I also have got all those little birds those other ones that we talked about so we could kind of have something like that and draw some little legs on him got a tiny blue run here he just blends in a bit too much into the background that's a shame isn't it so let me just have a look a tub here with some little you know pre-cut kind of um just some birds and hearts really not not a great deal of stuff but oops and some little squares so just see whether I've got anything in here. Oops. Got a couple of tiny hearts that's that's a cute one. Got a couple of felt ones which we could obviously kind of glue it on there. And then these are some of my little bird shapes that I've cut out over, over time. So just see what ones we've got. Because that red one seemed a bit too big. Not sure about any of these. So just have a quick look so I've got a little a few little squares there as well so let's just oops try and balance that back up so that just merges in so probably not that one got the green one perhaps that's a bit too small I thought the red one was a bit kind of monstrous really but Actually, maybe we need kind of something a bit monstrous on there. And then we've got that heart, so we could kind of staple the heart. Maybe just through the middle. Or we could glue it on. Let's glue it. Oops. Might have to trim that heart down a bit because... Um, the red one seems it's got big big um well it's just a bit big compared to the other one so I'll just trim those bits down a little bit. These scissors are not very good for cutting the felt so we're not getting such a nice edge unfortunately but you know hopefully again it's one of those things that once it's actually glued down onto the project you wouldn't necessarily notice so much and actually if I just kind of do that a bit round the edges it kind of blends it in a bit more so perhaps we'll have it like that what do you think And then we could have a little button in the heart. So still got a couple of buttons from last time. Actually, and I've got that little stamped heart. Which we could have kind of somewhere. Not sure about that bird. Maybe the stamped heart would be better. glue this one on like that now do we prefer the bird or do we prefer the heart Maybe the heart. It's strange because um, when you're looking through the 
lens, it looks very different to when you're looking, you know, when you're sat down next to it. I've also got some of these felt flowers, but actually looking, none of those are quite the right shade, but obviously I've got a whole big tub of them, so, um, you know, we could have kind of felt flower on there. Oops, that's quite cute, isn't it? Could have it there. So difficult. Maybe it's better without the felt flower. But I might use some of the felt flowers elsewhere. So, oops, my daughter's just been in and given me another little ring that she's, um, she's made for me. So I'll just pop that on. Thank you, darling. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you, sweetie. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> hey. Right. Just wonder whether we've got any buttons that we want here. Got some little blue ones in kind of heart shapes. They're kind of cute, aren't they? The green ones. I said last time, these are my, my non-vintage buttons. These are my, you know, my new buttons. Well, they're not new. I've had them for a long time, but my non-vintage ones but I said before you know I pulled them in because I thought I would have kind of more um you know vibrant colors and things than I maybe would have in the vintage ones so yeah I'd uh, actually been looking for a button for that hadn't I sorry I got distracted then when my daughter obviously came in and um you lose your thread, don't you? So took, took a few minutes there for me to kind of tune back in to what we were actually kind of up to and what we were doing. There we go. Right, no, not liking that button. Or that one. I wonder whether I've got a little red one. In, in a heart shape. I don't want to kind of just literally <laughs> tip these out and make you all watch me sift through. So I have a quick rummage now. If I can't find one, then uh, that might just go on my kind of to-do list later if, you know, if we feel it needs it. But to be honest, it looks, it looks pretty cute without. So I might just... Um, Leave it. There is a green one, actually. Let's see how that one would look. Well, the green one looks quite cute. Or we could have it down there. Oops. Could have, oh gosh. Could have it down there. I feel I need a little bit of fabric, funnily enough, running across the bottom of here, actually. So... I'm just going to have a look and see about putting a little bit of fabric down there. Nope, not that one. Let's just have a look. You know when kind of just things, you know, catch your eye kind of at a different angle and you think, actually, I think that needs needs this or needs that. So Sorry, everything's now dropping off where I've where I've moved it. So do we want that one? Yeah, I quite like that with that. So I'm just going to tear off. I could just have a little piece actually. Let's just do that. So I'm just going to tear off a super skinny piece and just have it like that. Or we could have it hanging on that side. I quite like it hanging off the blue actually, so. 
straight. Just pop that down there. And then we could just have the bottom kind of on there, perhaps. Not on there. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh, come on. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look cute? So, I'm going to just... Pull the journal in. So we are actually kind of making progress, would you believe? You know, although it seems slow going, we actually are making progress. So let's pull the journal in. Get a couple of kind of blank pages. Oops. So this one is our side loading side loading pocket there. How cute is that? And then we've got this one which is our top loading. And do you see what I mean about the where we left the tab on there? If you actually had that you know quite close to the edge of the page that would be a tab for the actual journal. So you know you could kind of have it like that. But if not, it just looks super cute anyway, doesn't it? So that's that one. And then obviously we've got the one that we made in the last video. So we are getting somewhere, even if it does seem like it's very slow progress on a um, video by video basis. But, you know, we have kind of done the three and obviously we have done the original couple of um, collage pages as well, which I haven't decided quite what to do with these yet. Um, still deciding but possibly some tags um, or possibly I will actually keep the original collage ones and use the scanned in versions to make some tags because you know they look pretty good so still deciding but yes progress is being made so <laughs> hope you had fun doing a bit of collage with me today and I will see you all again soon thanks for tuning in then <laughs> bye